In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture the description field while creating a case using automatic record creation. So just to give you a summary, what I have done is in my customer service hub application, I have already configured automatic record creation rule, which you can view through my uh, previous videos. Now, automatic record creation rule is set up in my tenant. So what that means is if I send out an email to an email address, so the email address is info at my domain name. Okay, so I've created one shared mailbox. Now here, if I say my PC is running slow, okay, so if I raise this case by typing a subject line and a description and if i click on send okay so then what will happen is like automatic record case creation will start looking into the cases uh, the email which is received and it will try creating uh, a case uh, in the back end okay so it might take a while for that case to propagate so if you see uh, on sent items uh, I have just written my PC is running slow as a subject and in the description is I can't work on my PC. So if you navigate to your customer service application and if you refresh it and if you go to create it on from newer to older uh, and wait for some time, then you should be able to see the new case which gets created over here. Okay. Yes. So now, as you see here, this is the new case, which is created using automatic record creation rule. Now, how to confirm that is if I go to record creation and update rule uh, here, if I refresh the activity monitor settings, then I can see that, hey, my PC is running, has been picked up by the queue and rules are being applied and automatic uh, case has been created so this is the case which is created now remember i have just put as a subject line so the subject line was my pc is running slow so that's picked as a case title so that's good what happened to the description i can't work on my pc please fix it now if you see if you scroll down under description you don't find anything okay so how to fix that so in order to do that you need to navigate to power automate so once you go select your right environment in make.powerautomate.com, then you need to find the automatic record creation ARC using email ARC condition, the default flow which gets created when you configure automatic record creation, edit this flow. Now I'm in the flow editor. Now, if you understand this flow correctly, what it says is like when the incoming activity triggers the flow, so that means there is a table which is called as email messages which stores all the email messages received okay now this particular table will have the subject will have the description everything stored now what happens is if i just scroll to this flow here the actual case record gets created so if i click over here here if you see case title is mapped to body slash subject so that means email subject becomes the case title over here. Now, if you see the description, description field is blank. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the dynamic content and I'm going to uh, select when the incoming activity triggers the flow, which is the trigger flow. And here, there should be a description. So if you see a description, type the greeting and message text of the email. I will select this and I'll save the flow. Now, once the flow is saved, this description should be captured. Okay. Now let's take one step at a time. So once this flow is saved, I will send out an email. Okay. So let, let me send out an email. Okay. So I'll click on new email, mail, and then I'll do the same step again. Okay. So I'll just say now, my Mac PC, my Mac is not working, is a subject line. And I'll just say Apple Mac is behaving weirdly. Okay, so this is my description. And I'll click on send. 
now my flow is saved okay as you see over here now if i check the case record it might take some time for this case to get created but once it is done i should be able to see the record over here so let's wait for it let's see the activity monitor where did the case reached so if you see activity monitor my mac is not running so this has been already picked up so i think technically we should have the record over here now yes now this record my mac is not working is created now let's go into this case record and see the description field now the case title is populated and the case title is present over here let's see the description and if you see here it has successfully captured the description okay now the description was apple mac is behaving weirdly okay so this is the description we have written in the email and that's what it was it has captured but see here what have we written apple mac is behaving weirdly full stop now here it has captured the html component now what if we just want the text we don't want the html component then what we need to do is we need to again go back to our power automate and maybe now this time let's add an action but we need to add an action before that record gets created so here i will just type html okay html to text okay now here this is html to text and i will create a connection for content conversion and here i will refer to what content i want it to be converted okay so i select the dynamic variable and then when the incoming activity triggers the first trigger i'll select the description and i'll paste it over here okay now once that is done again click on save so what we have done we have converted the html to text uh, uh, we have used the HTML to text conversion uh, component. We have converted it, but in the create a record, we need to go ahead and just remove this description. And instead of that, we need to select the dynamic content and use the HTML to text plain text content. Okay. Once that is done, click on save. And let's wait for this Power Automate flow to save the information. And, what, and it's done so let's do one more thing let me create an, another case and this time i will just put to info and then i'll say firefox browser airing out okay. now here i'll just say type firefox browser is not working it is throwing blue screen error Okay, so now this is a bit of a content. Let me make this as bold. Let me make this as italic and let me highlight this throwing component. Okay, so now this is kind of an HTML. Okay, this is pure HTML. And maybe let me make this uh, a bit bigger. Okay, now this is pure HTML. Let me click on send. Now I have sent this email to a shared mailbox automatic record creation will pick up this email put it in the record creation and update queue so let's monitor the activity monitor so here it has picked up this email it has read now let's go to the cases active cases and if I do a newer to older and just wait for some time till the time that case appears over here.
yes now i can see the case which is created over here now if i click on the case title and now if i see the subject line the subject line is firefox browser airing out so which has been picked from here the subject line so that's good let's see what gets picked from the description if i scroll down you will see a proper description has been captured so all the html component has been skipped so there is no bold no italic no highlights and no font size increase so it has been successfully uh, captured in the back end so this is all about capturing the description content within Dynamics 365 automatic record creation update power automate. Thanks for watching.